Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you guys what I got for Christmas and what I've done with my room since Christmas, because I got a few things. So let's get started. So first of all, as you can see, I got a shelf for my Marvel stuff. We'll start at the top. As you can see, I did get the Build-A-Figure Galactus. Great figure, I like this way better than the Marvel Universe figure. The Marvel Universe figure is bigger, which I do like, but this one's just so much better in articulation and sculpt like the face sculpt is amazing in my opinion then I got my two Marvel, Uni Marvel Universe figures and right there that's what makes the stand right there that little sticker of Marvel Legends so I got all my return of Marvel Legends or Marvel Legends 2012 all the figures right here except for I'm missing two which basically I'm missing one, which is the Madam Mask, but it comes with the Arnim Zola piece that I need. I need only that one, which kind of sucks because I mean I don't really want that figure Madam Mask, but I kind of have to get it now because I have every other one, and for the Arnim Zola piece. So as you can see, I did get Marvel Legends Wave Three, which is amazing. I'll probably do reviews on almost every figure that comes in that wave. But if you want me to do a review on any of the other figures that you see, just let me know and I go right on that. Coming down here, you got my older Marvel Legends. As you can see, I got Loki, the Super Scroll, Iron Fist, Kree Soldier, Iron Man, Baron Zemo, Nightcrawler, and I think you guys see now all the other ones. I got lights too, so that way it's good. And then just some of my more or uh, Spider-Man figures, not necessarily Marvel Legends, it could be Marvel Classics. I mean Spider-Man Classics. Sorry. So the only new figure that I think you guys didn't see is I got the uh, Peter Parker version for the Spider-Man. Let's see, there's his head, and then yeah. Skateboard in his backpack, and then come down here. Got the good stuff on this shelf. So I got two of the my favorite Marvel selects that I wanted, which is the Ultron, and I'm so happy I found the Thanos. Great figure. Comes with Death. I got his other glove, and then Death's other face. Right behind it. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. And Ultron's a freaking amazing figure. I'll definitely do a review on him. And I'll probably do a review on Thanos. And then, down here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is just all my, like, little three and three quarter inch figures and the movie figures back here. So I do got the light for that one, but the freaking ghetto thing fell off. The Velcro isn't real good. So it does work and everything. I got batteries for it. I probably spent just fifty dollars on the lights. I could have bought another shelf with how much I spent on the lights. And then I got all these little whatever you want to call them connecting I don't even know the things that come with the Marvel Legends Wave Three. So I got all those. Some movies that I got, I got the amazing Spider Man, Iron Man Two, Ted. All those movies were I like The Amazing Spider-Man. That's probably the best one out of these. Ted was alright. It wasn't really that great. I mean, it was funny, but it really... It was a stupid comedy movie, like always. But I didn't mind it, so it didn't change much here. Then we got just, like, the boxes that I got. All oh, that didn't really change anything else up. Got my uh, Marvel Select boxes. Got the two-pack box. Same with here. I got a little Avengers, one of those wash towels or washcloth things. Just going to leave that in package. My little Godzilla things. We got the uh, Marvel Legends Wave 3. I left two of the Iron Man in the box. So, 
because I got the eight thing and I, or the um the one that comes with the eight figures. So you get two of the Iron Mans and then two Deadpool's, which I what left, of course, one Deadpool in package. I left these two in package because I didn't know my parents were gonna give me it, so I already bought this Iron Man, which I already have taken out of package, so, I mean, I'm definitely not mad that I got two Iron Man in package, but that's probably the least rare figure, or the most common figure in Wave 3, which, I mean, kind of sucks that I got two of them, but still, I don't mind. And then for Godzilla, I got this. I don't know if that's Mormon or Bullmark. If anyone knows, tell me, but it is the uh, 1964 Godzilla. And then, come down here, I got the Fusion Series Mothra, got the Fusion Series uh, Godzilla 2000, I got the regular Godzilla 2000, and then I got the Fusion Series Burning Godzilla, which I actually like the Godzilla 2000 in this wave way better than I do from the actual band I figured. That's just my opinion, but I think the sculpt is just way nicer. Just everything on it is just better. So I'll probably do a review of either the Fusion Series one or the regular one. And then just in the back, got a few just like Build-A-Figure pieces and stuff. Some foam. So, um, this is basically what I got for Christmas. I am getting some packages in the mail, I think I got two coming, three if you count the big thing that I'm getting, but it's not coming till I think the end of January, so you won't be seeing that lately, but I will probably get the two figures by probably next week, so they are not Marvel figures, so I'm getting two more Godzilla figures, and they, the one is a YMSF, and then the one is Bandai, so look forward to those, I'll do unboxing videos for those, so stay tuned for that. So guys, I just wanted to say thank you for a great year. My first year was amazing. Thank you for all the subscribers that I've got. Hope I get more in 2013, and I hope you guys stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever.